On this episode of IJDM, we are testing and reviewing the JBL GO 3 speaker, doing it as sort of a different way than you might expect. Coming up next. Another visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. All right, so this is the JBL speaker. A shout out to my brother-in-law, Daryl, for uh, sending me one of these. They do have a new one. Um, as I'm making this video, I've come across the JBL GO 4, um, which supposedly offers a little more functionality. And there was some limitation to this one as far as if you want to use two of them together and linking them and doing the stereo effect you can do with some speakers where you can set up, I think you can set up and some of them do like a, a four speaker type deal or, or whatever, depending what you're using it for. But uh, yeah, I mean, I would never go beyond two. And honestly, the idea of this just being compact and able to shove it in my luggage or my book bag and use it anywhere, I mean, sold. And I don't really need anything more as long as it connects and works. And I can tell you ahead of time, the sound on this is pretty dang good compared to if you watch my video on the Ryobi Bluetooth radio. Yeah, the sound on that could be better. I don't want to slam them, I mean, but in this modern age, really, we, we're expecting a little more of our out of our audio, especially considering what some of these companies are doing now. That being said, it just depends on how you hear things. Let's just unbox this. I already cut the tape on it and uh, yeah, okay. I guess this is great packaging. I love the, the clear, whoop, whoop, almost lost that, whatever that is. Okay, oh, well, there's the speaker and he sent me the red one because I obviously have a thing with uh, red products. My sunglasses are red. It's, it kind of goes with my football team here in Tampa Bay. Um, and what, <laughs> what is this? Oh, I guess, okay, this is interesting packaging idea. Okay, well, so inside the box, uh, quick start guide, tells you how to pair and stuff. And, well, this is IJDM, so we're not going to use that. We're just going to try to figure it out ourselves, see how complicated it is. Get a little charging cable, which, wow, it's interesting they used the orange for that, I guess, to match the speaker aesthetic. That's just, or a JBL thing. JBL is an orange, does do the orange, but this is more of a red and pinkish hue. But, um, yeah, this charging cable, I mean, I, I'm not going to say anything terrible about it. It just feels like it could be a little bit more. It feels like this could eventually, you know, not hold together. I have a few of these on different products I've, I've purchased lately, and I've noticed these cables are getting really thin and kind of janky. Is that the word? <laughs> it's just, uh, just something a little more, you know, oomph to it. But it is just charging a small uh, battery inside, so, you know, it is what it is. And then JBL, of course, uh, JBL is owned by, by Harman now, so it's just your, uh, oh my God, safety instruction book is huge, but I'm guessing it's because, it, yeah, it's in multiple languages. Yeah, we won't be reading that. Let's get to this. This is the fun part. I mean, you, you, don't you hate it when YouTubers stare at manuals and stuff for a half hour, and then they finally get to the product for the last 10 minutes? Well, we're going right to the product. We're gonna, yes, we are going to test it do some sound things and this, that, and the other. Got your little finger strap here. And if you want to hook a lanyard up to it and hang it around your neck or whatever, sure, yeah, you can do that. Or put a little, uh, one of those little clips. What do you call this? Those clip things? I, it's not on my head right now or in my mind, uh, but uh, one of those little clips they use for mountain climbing, those little things would be handy. Um, and I got a ton of those laying around. So we got the charging port there on the back side, just kind of a surface, I guess, just to protect it. It is like a cloth material. I thought this would be plastic, but it's actually cloth, or I think it's cloth. It feels like cloth anyways. It feels good though. It's, I mean, this feels solid. I mean, I've tested in a few of these, these little JBL speakers through the years. I mean, not on camera, but uh, this one is solid. You got your uh, lower volume, raise volume and play button. I believe one of these operates as a skip button uh, as my brother-in-law uh, has shown me. There's your go through, uh, go throw. <laughs> I almost said GoPro. This is not a GoPro. <laughs> go three is what it's called. Um, power button and your Bluetooth uh, pairing button there on the side. So with that all being said, we're gonna kind of clear this table and adjust the camera a little bit. And I'm gonna show you what one of the things I'm actually gonna use this for. Of course, I will use it with my phone and pair it with my phone and use it on the go if I just want a little radio and have better sound than what comes out of the iPhone. If, you know, I'm out on a picnic or something or hiking and I want a little bit of music, rare that I do that, but, or just hanging out at a buddy's house or whatever, yeah, okay, or some disc golfing, yeah, this would be perfect. 
Um, but I'm gonna try this in a different sense today. We, you've seen videos on that, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just kind of clear this table off and I'll be back in no time at all. And here's what we're doing today. Just like that, we are back and I have something interesting set up. I go to some of my family's house, friend's house, and if there are ways of staying the night in some places and there's no TV in the room, they expect you to use your iPad or iPhone or whatever, which is fine, but I find myself trying to adjust it on my chest and just not comfortable. So I decided to make one more use of this screen, which I did feature in a review, oddly enough, and also the on TV box, which this one's actually the on TV stick. Um, not much difference between the two, otherwise, otherwise it's just a smaller form factor. But the general idea is if I'm traveling, I can easily fit this in my laptop bag with my other stuff I usually carry along with a speaker and just set this up anywhere and plug it in. And I have basically my home system on the go with me. Thing is, the speaker in this monitor isn't great. Um, <laughs> it's frankly terrible. But anyhow, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, some people can say I'd be rough on products. I'm just being truthful. I mean, I've tested a lot of things. I've been with electronics or, or dealing with electronics all my life. I can definitely tell you when something is either junk or it's okay or yeah, buy this item. I, I would definitely get, get you know this product. So that all being said, let's go ahead and pair this speaker up. Well, the first thing we need to do is, is, is go ahead and uh, just hit that power button. And it does a little woo doo doop. <laughs> it's an interesting startup sound, but uh, gives it character. I like it. Uh, okay, it's got a little flashing light, so I guess we don't have to hit the, the pairing light because I haven't. I just took it out of the box, so let's pair the accessory. Now, I did look up something on this before I did the video, and the key thing here is if you're doing this with a Google TV, I'm using the On Google TV from Walmart. Um, I'm not gonna hide the fact that on brand is made by Walmart, but, or made for Walmart. But anyhow, I don't know if this applies to other Google TVs or not, but when you're trying to pair accessories, you may have a little bit of an issue trying to, to get actually to pair. Well, there's a trick I will we'll show you in this video um, of how to fix that problem. And well, okay, the light's flashing, but this isn't finding anything. So let's just try searching again and seeing if we find it. And sometimes a Bluetooth, if you're too close to it, sometimes in proximity, I've noticed sometimes it won't find it. But uh, in this situation, the Bluetooth light is flashing. <laughs> I figured this would be simple, but uh, yeah, let's just go out of this and then back in and it should find stuff. If not, I may need to just restart the unit again and maybe it just was a bad power up or who knows? Okay, <laughs> what just happened was I checked on my phone, it wasn't appearing. Even though this was flashing, I think it was telling me it wasn't getting a signal. So the actual pairing mode is this flashing light on here. So that was what was going on. Apparently I needed to hit that button once. We did not read the instructions, otherwise we could have avoided that whole thing. Let's, and I'll probably have chopped it up uh, regardless so this video doesn't go so, so long. Okay, now we're pairing. That's a good sign. Pairing. Okay, here's the trick. You can't just hit pair, it's not gonna work. So you're gonna have to hit the down arrow so it goes to cancel. This sounds totally ridiculous, but I think it's just a software bug with the system or, or OS bug, whatever you wanna call it. And I just wait for it until it does finally wanna move. There it goes, see it just went to cancel, then go back up to pair. Otherwise it's not gonna work. At least it didn't for me. Hit pair and it should, boop, there you go. Okay, we're paired up and good to go. So let's, just go ahead and try this out. So we have, instead of using the speaker on this monitor, we're now connected to this speaker uh, via the stick. So easy enough, we're just gonna go back to the, my main menu using the Project TV launcher. If you want more information on that, please check out the other video. It'll be featured at the end of this one, but anyhow, uh, let's just go to Spotify and I'll just keep these songs to like really a brief 10 second thing. Uh, Okay, well, apparently I'm not logged into Spotify on this device. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if we have any luck with YouTube. If not, I'll just go wherever. to regular TV or... Oh, yeah, just... Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's, um... 
<laughs> Anybody has YouTube channels and you're seeing me scroll through this, there you go, there's some free, free, free promotion for you. Let's just go into my videos here. I don't sponsor somebody else, but uh, yeah, okay. Let's, uh, I don't know what videos have music or whatever. Well, let's, yeah, let's just go to my weather channel. Uh, yeah, I do have an online weather channel runs 24 seven. So if you live near Tampa Bay, if you live near Tampa Bay, then there you go. This music is copyright free. So I just notice it. Yeah, it sees the volume on, so I can control the speaker, the volume from, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I can actually control the speaker volume. I mean, of course you can, <laughs> just, I didn't even think about that. I don't know what that noise is, but. And, and there you go. I mean, it's, it, it works great. It sounds great. I mean, this is a perfect on the go situation, or if you just want like just a little better sound quality and maybe you're not using a, a good quality monitor or whatever. I mean, you can do this with your computer. You can do this with your iPad, your iPhone, of course. Um, I mean, anything that has Bluetooth connectivity, you should be able to basically use this speaker. Uh, anything with more modern Bluetooth connectivity, let's just say. If we took, say, this old phone, perhaps, I have a feeling you would not be able to, and let's just shut this down, and I have a feeling you would not be able, this is gonna be kind of a bonus thing here. Let's see if we can get any music out of the speaker with using this old 19, I don't think it was 90s, this probably came out somewhere in the 2000s, mid 2000s, I'm gonna guess, so we'll go to normal mode. And let's just see if it finds the speaker. That's my, my curious thing is, um, is there a Bluetooth setting on here? Rio. Settings, yeah, okay. Uh, I think I see a Bluetooth symbol. There we go, Bluetooth, okay. Uh, turned on. Bluetooth is turned on, Bluetooth, turned on. Um, my devices? device okay see if it's in range so we're just gonna hit that button once uh, searching yeah see I don't think what what no way no way <laughs> there's no way this is what is the path <laughs> uh, anyone anyone let's just try zero 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 okay adding this is not going to work because it wants it's the earlier bluetooth with these what, what? <laughs> wait did this just connect wait <laughs> i was not, okay i was not expecting this this is <laughs> oh wow I mean, yeah, that, that totally works. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what, uh, 2020 or newer and 2005, maybe six or uh, somewhere along. Whoa. Was not expecting that. And I must have lucky, got lucky on the code or something jogged in my memory. I just used zero, 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 four zeros, and yeah, it, it connected. Now I want to try this with like my, my iPods or something, because every once in a while I do play with this phone and put a little music on it when I'm out mowing or doing yard work. So that is very interesting. I've never gotten a modern day Bluetooth device to connect to it. That's why I was like, there's no way this is going to work. But there you go. Well, on that note, let's end the video on a happy note that uh, if you happen to want to use this speaker with your old cell phone that has Bluetooth? Yes, you can. We'll see you next time on IJDM. Check out our Patreon page and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.